it goes. Follow that bat. While the kids are snoozing, the bats are cruising. <laughs> oh, yeah. Woo. I love bat power. Good one. Hey, did you notice something about bite size, Martin? He's not catching mosquitoes anymore. Hey, he must be full. Because if insects are abundant, a little brown bat can fill his belly in the first two hours after the sun goes down. Right yard, bro. A brown bat can eat as many as 3,000 mosquitoes each night. And almost all of that happens right after the sun goes down. Speaking of going down, Bite Size is heading straight for that pond. He's drinking on the fly. Gotta, Gotta try, try it. it. Uh, not that thirsty. <laughs> uh, it's more like this, bro. Little sips. Like that. <gasps> Whoa! Uh, you were saying, bro? Whew! Bite Size is a perfect name. It's a dangerous world out here for little brown bats. Hmm. Maybe we should watch our backs with a little echolocation look around. Good idea. I'll give it a try. Something's bouncing back. <gasps> Rhododendron bush down low. Awesome! My turn. <sighs> Oops, sorry, dude. Let me try that this way. Oh. It's working. There's a tree trunk and a branch and... <gasps> An owl! A screech owl! Fly, 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 fly! Ah! Ooh. Follow bite size! Another close one. Tell me about it. Okay, we better keep an eye on Bite Size and his bat buddies until the bat boxes are ready. <gasps> Peregrine Falcon! She spotted the bats! We have to help them. To, to the, the creature rescue! rescue. I'll distract the Peregrine Falcon. You stay with the bats. Got it! Hey, Falcon, over here. Catch me if you can. Uh-oh, he probably can. Ah! But not this time. Woohoo! Don't worry, Bite Size. We're not gonna let any hungry predators eat you for breakfast. <gasps> A raccoon! He can grab them right out of the air. I've gotta get there first. Hey, raccoon, looking for a bat snack? Well, breakfast is served. Come and get it. <gasps> That's it. Eyes on me just a little bit longer. Sorry, raccoon, little brown bats are off the menu. And me too. <gasps> Ah, this is great. Cruising along the ocean on a top predator. <laughs> We've got nothing to worry about. Yeah, smooth sailing, great white shark style. Must be kind of nice being a shark. I mean, who's gonna mess with you? Ah! Oh, okay, uh, I forgot. There is a creature that will mess with a great white, an orca. And he's not done yet. There's more than one! No wonder these guys are nicknamed Wolves of the Sea and can take on a great white. They hunt packs. Go, Razormouth! Swim for your life! And ours, too! Tightening sucker grip. I hope she holds. Woo! Nice move, Razormouth! A deeper dive! That's a great defense! 
Great Whites can go deeper than orcas can. And it worked, because there they go. That must have been scary for Razormouth. Yeah, just when we thought a shark had nothing to worry about. Quick, latch on! Uh, get closer! Got it! Oh, she's moving so fast, I can't see a thing! Just keep that sucker head sucker, dude! Let's hope it holds! Well, I guess Great Whites like tuna fish for lunch, too. Yeah, hold the mayo. And Suckerhead gets the leftovers. Another good reason to stick with sharks. A free meal. Free ride and free meals, wow. These remoras have it easy. And look, Razormouth just leaves the little remora alone. Yeah, like most animals, sharks have certain foods they like to eat, and everything else they'd rather just stay away from. And that includes people, cleaner fish, and remoras. And remora subs. Right, Razor Mouth? Oh, these ears are incredible. They can hear even the slightest noises. Please make a sound, please make a sound. Oh, pays to say please. Rustling leaves, that way. <coughs> Nothing like getting there fast. Woo! With these amazing leaping <coughs> legs. Come on, Tarsier Eyes. Don't fail us now. Chris, look. Behind that fern. It's, it's Googly Jr. Googly Eye, we found Googly Jr. Your baby is safe and... A python. Whoa, they're mobbing the snake to protect one of their own kind. Ooh, they're too much for the snake. They're coming at it from all sides. They did it! All right, now Googly Jr. is safe and sound. Oh, <laughs> and back with Mom. Wow, she really does look like a dinosaur. Yeah, and some dinosaurs had feathers, too. Yeah, when you're looking at a raptor, you are looking at the direct descendants of hunting dinosaurs. Hmm. He found something. Yeah, trouble. And its name is Black Mamba. That's the kind of snack surprise you don't want to find in your lunch bag. Unless, of course, you're a hunter bird. The mamba can't get a bite on his skinny legs. Plus, they're covered with hard scales that protect them from the fangs. And there are talons on the feet. And the hunter bird uses those talons to stomp snakes. Yeah, stomp. <laughs> That's stomp specialty. Stomp is an incredible snake predator. Whoa! Oh, that was totally prehistoric. 